Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got another Timu haul uh, for you today. And um, before we get started, let me just say that this is the turtle um, tank that I got on a previous haul. And this is the um, light purple cardigan. I don't know, you probably don't call this a cardigan when it's um, light like this, but I got this on another haul as well. So I had said I would probably try to wear these on another or future one, and here I am. Um, and then um, I don't think I have any other updates at the moment, so we can get started. So um, welcome. Thank you for stopping by and uh, taking some time out of your busy day to spend with me. Um, we've got a Timu haul, and so if you look in the description below, you'll see the link to the Timu app if you've never downloaded it before. Uh, it is an affiliate um, link, so I would get $5 if you happen to use that. There's also my code, uh, my promo code down below, which will give you 50% off your first order and $100 worth of coupons. And then I play the Fishland and Farmland game on Timu, so my codes are down below for that. And you would just type those numbers into the search bar in Timu, and then it would walk you through how to connect so that we can be friends. And then there will also be something below with some kind of um, link to the orders. So this, this particular order has um, pieces from six different orders. So I've got it all written down. So hopefully it won't um, be difficult for me to tell you the prices. Um, but it, it this one is kind of messy since it's got, because you know how Timu is, they just jumble everything up together. So um, we'll get started and hopefully I won't struggle finding the price on here. But anyway, all of this stuff I've ordered with my own money. Um, so these will be honest. Um, I get pretty honest on here about how I feel about stuff and it's first impressions. And sometimes my impressions do change either for the better or for the worse. Um, and I try to come back on future videos and tell you if something has happened like that. Um, but otherwise I haven't like op opened anything. I mean, I know what's in here so I could write down the prices, but I haven't opened the individual packages yet. So um, let's get started and see what we find. So the first item is a shirt, and this is a repurchase of sorts. I have gotten several shirts in this particular um, design, just with different um, color schemes. So it's kind of a raglan style t-shirt in the way the arms are pieced together and it's a pretty blue leopard with um, white and pinky peach flowers the sleeves have a ruffle kind of effect on them um, v-neck and then the bottom does not have that same arm ruffle on it it's just plain and then the back exact same thing so I thought this would look cute with jeans. <laughs> I think there's a pair of shoes out there in Timu land that, that have the same kind of color scheme on it. So we'll have to see if I think it's close enough that it makes me want to purchase it. But I've got several, like I said, um, shirts like this, and I really like them. They're comfortable. Um, they're cute. You know, they have a little bit of flair to them. And I really like this one just because I like the colors on it. And this would go with no blue or black um, but yeah and it's soft it's super soft and it is a 2x which is size 16 in the United States although I was um, looking at something today on the app and that particular clothing item that was 2x said 1820 so I guess pay attention um, but so far almost all the 2x's I've bought have been um, 16s. So this is 95% polyester and 5% elastane. And you're supposed to wash it inside out, machine wash cold, and line dry in the shade. So we'll air dry it in the dryer. 
So yeah, so this, and this will be nice because this is not see-through, so you can wear whatever color bra you want to under this. I was having a little trouble with this shirt and pretty much only a white bra would work with this. So, oh, and how much did I pay for that? Let's see. Blue flower shirt, I paid $10.91, but it's gone up in price to $11.14. All right, next. So this is a little bit of a disappointment. Um, I was trying to game the system. I'm not going to lie. I thought that I was buying a pillow, um, not a pillowcase. They've got a ton of these pillowcases on, on the site. Um, but I thought I was actually getting a pillow. I didn't read the description well enough. Um, and the reason why, so like I said, I was trying to game the system and I thought, well, I'll get this pillow because it was only, I think it was only like, it was $2.98. Because they have the 18 by 18 pillow on Timu, but it's like $8 or something crazy. So I was, of course, thinking I'll just get this one and then I can just put covers over it. You know, even though this is a really cute, um, a cute one. But then it came and gosh darn it, it was just a case also. I should have known when it was so cheap. Um, so I have one 18 by 18 pillow in my house living room um but i really want to get up to four because there's some sets on timu that i'd like to get that are four um but i don't want to spend i don't know am i being am i just being cheap i am cheap which is why i shop on timu but um yeah i uh, it's like do i really want to pay eight dollars and then get a cover too you know what i mean so anyway, so that was a goof on my part, but this is still, you know, if, if you are looking for something like this to give to your mom for her birthday or mother's day, or just cause she's special, this is still a cute, um, cover. But like I said, it was $2.98 and it's come down in price to $2.69 and this is a nice canvas, um, canvas texture. So I think it would hold up if you have pets that or kids, that kind of thing. But yeah, I was a little disappointed with that. Because I was thinking, well, that would be a really good deal. Nope. <laughs> All right, next we have some more bras. Um, ever since I found the perfect bra that is seamless it really it does have seams um i've been looking at the other um bras that are kind of like that too although this is not quite the same thing um this definitely has seams all over the place but it doesn't have any wires it's um it's a very this is like pantyhose kind of like a thick pantyhose kind of or tights, I don't know what you call them these days, material. And then this is like half of the thickness of this. Um, and then, so then it it's lower. I mean, it goes down lower, but it's got defined cups and they're padded. And then on this side, um, so, and these are not the kind of pads that come out, right? Um, but it's got a spot where you can add your own padding in here if you want. So I know a lot of us um, have um, those push up insert kind of things. So this would maybe kind of help hold those in place. So that's what intrigued me about these. Um, and this came, like I said, in a set of three. So you get this color, which is kind of a peachy tan color. And then a really light pink. And these are 2X. 85% um, polyamide and 15% elastane. Um, I can't tell what it's saying. The care, I don't, I, I don't know how to read these care symbols. They don't look familiar to me. But I would probably wash these in one of my mesh 
delicate laundry bags. Okay, so then there was this pink and then black. So the only difference I'd probably make with this set is instead of the pink, I'd probably do white because I'm finding I've, I'm getting these white things and I need a white um, bra. Although this peachy one is probably close enough to my my particular skin color that maybe it wouldn't look too bad under a white shirt. But anyway, that set of three was um oh up there 1029 and it's still 1029 all right next oh oh well this will be helpful for this channel i got a microphone finally actually i ordered this and a lavalier mic that would you know clip to my shirt because i'm not sure which one will work better I know feeling on this channel is kind of divided about whether I should get a mic or not. Um, some of you like hearing the static and the ASMR kind of qualities that happen like when I'm opening bags and trying to talk at the same time, but some of you have said you cannot hear me and have to turn on the captions. Um, so I'm not sure. So I went ahead and got two different kinds of mics. Um, I'm kind of curious what other, some of the other YouTubers I watch use. Um, I don't tend to really show our, <laughs> our setups because it's on the opposite side of where we are, but, um, so it comes with a stand tripod it did come with a user manual which I will definitely need to use um, so USB I'm kind of assuming I will have to plug that into my computer in order to get it to recognize the microphone. Um, not sure. It's probably to help direct the sound. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe this is what helps um, remove some of the extra sound. But anyway, this... Um, oh, this is not in here the right way. Really? Okay, so the reason why I'm, okay, this moves. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Because this is how it connects to the tripod. It's always funny watching me try to put electronics together. What is that for? So I'm guessing I'm going to have to set it kind of over here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, I'll need to look this up. But let's see what the box says. All right. Oh, it's got different lights. It's because it's a gaming microphone. Um, high sensitivity condenser microphone, omnidirectional. Gooseneck pop filter and shockproof tripod, compatible with all computers or mainstream audio systems, suitable for recording, podcasting, streaming, online karaoke, gaming, etc. Ooh, online karaoke. Now that could be fun. So, um, and like I said, it does have a, so I'll have to read that before I plug it in. So hopefully in a video coming to you soon, <laughs> I will get to test this out and we'll see if it helps my sound any. Um, I'd say there's probably a majority of, of, of the people who comment on the sound of my videos, the majority of those people like it the way it is now. Um, it's probably 
20% of the commenters that say they can't hear me and I need to do something about it. So um, I don't know if this will end up becoming a permanent thing. We'll see. Um, certainly, um, if it creates a better sound, that's better overall. And maybe I can just sit and do that every once in a while um, for the others. So yeah, so we'll see. Um, what did I pay for that? I paid $15.49, but it adjusted down to $15.02. And I don't know. I don't know if that's a good price or not. I make the assumption that it's a good price if I see it on Timu. Um, but I, I very rarely go and price compare between Timu and Amazon, unless it's something that I have looked at on Amazon before. All right. Okay, so this is a disappointment which I could tell because it's a clear bag. Um, pair of tennis shoes. Um, clovers. I'm not even gonna get the second one out because I'm so disappointed. So here's my problem with this. This in the picture had a white, it looked white. It looked like the whole shoe was, you know, was white. Now granted this part of the shoe was is different material because this is canvas but this is a very dingy um, it's not white it's more like a um, it looks like they've been in some water I mean it like it's just not white so I'm gonna be sending these back because um, I do not like it it reminds me it makes me feel like they are dirty and they're not um, but it's I mean it's it's my second favorite kind of shoe on Timu. So that is definitely not the problem. Um, it's really just because this is not white. So, um, so yeah, but um, you know, if they were, I would love it. Um, but these cost, Clover shoes, $17.99. So that's another reason why I'm sending them back because if you're not 100% happy, send it back. And they've now gone up to $19.39. But yeah, I got, I was just, uh, they just feel dingy. Like somebody's tried to clean them and they've been in sitting in dirty water. So whatever. I guess you can't win them all with shoes. All right, next, okay, I'm gonna save that because that's part of a two piece. Okay, so these are compression socks. Now, if you, some of you who have been around for a while may, may remember that I got some, um, they ended up being compression sleeves to go on this part of your arm, although they were marketed by Timu as a way to decrease the size. Like you can see, you know, I've got, as I'm losing weight, I just got, ugh. but whatever. So <laughs> I got those sleeves that were supposed to help shape your arms and whatnot. Well, they were really just um, compression sleeves for your arms. And I had never worn any kind of compression wear, um, but I loved it. I mean, it was like a cooling feeling, even though they weren't cooling material, but I just loved the way it felt. So then I thought, okay, so there's probably something to this, you know, they're always telling diabetics um, or people, I got my makeup still over here, or people that um, suffer from cellulitis, um, what are some other, just, you know, like swelling of the legs or whatnot, because your maybe your um, blood flow isn't that great to your extremities. So they're always saying compression socks are good for that. So with that being in mind, I got some compression socks. I've never had these before, but I got the toeless kind because I really, uh, most compression socks are the consistency of um, tights, like a tight tight or a thick tight. And I just knew that would bother my toes, but Timu has ones that are toeless. So I thought, well, I'll give that a try and see how that feels. But it's a super thick, um, but it's stretchy. So you can, you know, pull it up over your legs, but then it just gives you and your, um, your 
blood system, your cardiac system, extra support. And if it works as good as the ones, or it feels as good as the ones on my arms did, I'm kind of excited to look or to try this. Um, I know there's been some stuff on Facebook lately um, where people are complaining that all compression socks are kind of um, like this kind of material and they're not pretty. So there are, I did see um, some ads on Facebook for ones that are more colorful and Timu does have ones that have designs on them too. I don't know if those came in the Tolis version, um, but there's all different kinds on there. So if you struggle with any kind of diabetic or circulatory issues, give it a try. Um, like I said, the arm ones were awesome. So these, um, these were free. No, they weren't free. Um, oh, Tolis compression socks, three eighty-seven for one pair, and they have price adjusted down to two fifty-one. So yeah, I'm excited to try those. Now, unless I'm wearing pants, I can't really wear those, or I wouldn't wear those out in public. Although I do see people, people that really have issues are wearing them all the time, right? And so no judgment on them for doing that. I'm not in a place yet where I have to do that. So I'll be a little bit more um, discretionary, I guess, when I wear mine. Um, Plus I get hot really easily and I'm afraid if I wore something like that out, I would melt. All right, so the next item I got is a pump bottle. So they have these at Dollar Tree. This is nothing new. You fill it up with whatever kind of liquid. So a lot of people will put um, acetone or something in this um, fingernail polish remover, you could do um, toner. And actually, I think that's what I got this one for because the toner that I got with my Japanese skincare set is in a, it's in a hard bottle like this, so I can't squeeze it. Um, and so it's awkward to use and to get a cotton ball soaked. So I thought I would transfer it into this and then um, you just push this down and it the liquid comes up through the hole. And then, so that'll be much easier to get my um, cotton balls soaked with toner because I haven't been using the toner at all because it's literally a pain in the butt. Um, so this was $1.67, so pricier than Dollar Tree. I um, mean, it's actually gone up to $1.97, but I think the ones at Dollar Tree, like, I think you could squeeze those. Like, I don't think they're quite this sturdy or this size. So, so yeah, so this would be my toner. But now I need to get one for um, some acetone if I'm going to start, if I'm going to try to do gel nails. And I will put, it's very important, here's my safety lesson for today very important whenever you put liquids into bottles like this that you label them. Um, I've had to throw away squirt bottles before because I couldn't remember if I put hairspray in it or like bathroom cleaner kind of thing. So always if you're gonna use something like that make sure you label it for everybody's safety. All right that's my mom talk for today. I'm like pulling, I'm always pulling up the little things. I've got one of the little things goes with another little thing. So I want to hold off. So this is kind of wrapped weird, right? <laughs> like someone just went into their kitchen and wrapped this up with a bunch of saran wrap. Okay, so this is a boar bristle brush. 
Um, I was reading, you know, I've, I've told you guys before that my kids steal my brush and then um, lately I've been using like a wide tooth comb because nobody can tell me where my brush is. And I have another brush coming in a teeny order. But I ordered this one because I read somewhere that boar bristles are supposed to be really good for your scalp and safe for your hair. Now, I don't know how true that is, and I, because my hair is up, I can't really test this right now because I don't want to take it down, um, but I'll let you know how this goes. But it's, it's um, because they're bristles, it is harder, and so you would think that it would kind of create static, or I would think that, um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see because I don't want to add static to my problems, but, um, but yeah, I'm curious to see how this works. Um, and I'm not, I'm also curious to see how this works on tangles because I get a lot of tangles um, when I'm brushing my hair after I shower. So we'll have to see. I don't want to get something that's pulling, so I'll definitely give you an update on this. But this was $379 and it's come up in price to $387. I'm, I'm thirsty, y'all. Gonna take a hydration second. So for those of you that watched the haul where I got this shirt, I filmed it right before I'm filming this one. But in that, my husband called at one point and was like, we're going to come home early and we'll bring home some food. So then I'm like, got done with that video and I'm sitting here kind of trying to get it ready to upload and everything. And it's like an hour later and I'm like, where are they? So then I go look at my phone and they decided to go to Steak and Shake and not come home. So no food for me. <laughs> so I'll have to see what they, what happens when they come home if they bring me something. Oh, all right. So um, what's next? All right. So... <laughs> Okay, I forgot that this was in the same haul. So here's the lavalier mic. So I get a little nervous when I think about using this kind of a mic because I know um, sometimes it's hard to know if the battery dies while you're using it. And so I've seen where some people have to kind of do a voiceover um, after the fact, and I don't know that I would know how to do that or be very good at it. So this makes me a little bit nervous, but um, you can see it's got the USB port right there, and it comes with two. So I guess that's good, you know, if you keep both of them charged. But again, I don't know, maybe since there's something here, maybe this can show you if it's working or not. Is that a button? It's not a button. So it comes with two and then this would go into the computer, I'm guessing, because this would connect the two. And there are instructions I see behind the foam. Let's just pull the foam out. So I'm trying to get to the USB cord, which is in here, I presume. Oh, so there's two. So you can be charging both of them at the same time. So, um, yep, so I think Overall, this one probably seems like it would be easier to implement um, into my setup. I just get, I just am a little nervous just because I don't think I would um, be able to handle a problem if there was one. And I'm afraid I wouldn't find out till after I was done filming. And um, so, yeah, so I, I'm a little nervous about this, but I'll give it a try. Um, because I know a lot of people use these and they do have really good sound. I'm curious how the sound will be different from wearing it like here versus having just a microphone back here to capture sound. So that's again where I kind of wish I knew like it's 
you can tell when a YouTuber is using one of these because you can usually see it unless they're wearing something black. But I don't know. I guess I'm looking for secrets of the trade. <laughs> but um, but yeah. So we'll see. One of these, I'm sure, or actually, they probably both work great. Um, but this one. Oh well. I must have got this on a lightning deal because I only paid $4.24 for this and it's regularly $9.99. So I think I got this on one of those press your luck deals. So, so that's the thing. Make sure Timu has your cell phone number so that they can send you um, links for games, um, gift boxes. And there's ways to get to that stuff without the text messages. And I'm going to try to do a community post on that but I don't know when I'll get that done but anyway so there's that oh I should leave that over here because I'll be trying to use it here all right so the last big thing I have in here is a cord corral kind of thing you put your um power strip or just your excess cords in that um, to kind of hide it. I got it in pink. It came in lots of different colors. And it looks like you would, um, you can put your power strip in it since it's got air holes. And it's it looks long enough for a power strip. So just kind of to make it, this is super cheap plastic, by the way, definitely Dollar Tree kind of um, plastic, but you don't really need it to be that sturdy for what you're doing. So you put the power strip in there and then you can feed your cords through here. Um, but yeah, I kind of struggle. I mean, if you looked under my desk where my USP no, my UPS is sitting down here um, in case the power goes out. So most of my stuff's plugged into that so that I don't lose power right away. Um, it's like a mess of cords. I need to get my um, cord Velcro tape down here and do some, well, get my son to go under there and, and do some fixing. But this is really great for the cords that are stuck up on the top of the desk to keep them kind of secured and and to keep your power strip kind of safe so it doesn't get desk kind of things on it you don't want to start any fires so that um let's see desktop plug container $3.99 and it's gone up in price to $4.29. Now some of these things that have gone up in price, I may have gotten price adjustments, um, but I pretty much, when I'm filling this out, I'm writing down what I paid for it and then what it costs today. But a lot of these things go down before they go back up. So it's just hard sometimes to tell how much you get of a price adjustment on each item after the fact because you could have gotten a price adjustment on four things in one and you so you can't tell later and I don't want to take the time to write it down every time I get one if that makes sense all right everything that's left is little so we'll just take it one at a time so this I've gotten a ton of these on this channel but this is the first gold set I do have a few gold necklaces and I love these because with carpal tunnel and, and just fine motor skill issues, sometimes it's hard for me to do my necklaces. So the idea is it's got the lobster claw clasp on both sides. So you can clip it to both sides of the necklace and then this becomes your closure. And so then it's really easy to, you know, fasten it without having to, you know, pull the necklace around and do it up front, especially if it's a tighter necklace. So this was a set of five and these come in like this bar kind. There's also kind of balls or roses I've seen and gotten. 
Um, and they come in gold, silver, and rose gold. So I've gotten, I think I've got enough of these now until I get some more necklaces. Um, but a set of five um, was 217 and they've price adjusted down to 183. All right, next, okay, we've got several pins again, so let me put those to the side. We'll do those all at once. I went, I went pin crazy. My mood bag needs, <laughs> needs some flair. Okay, so next I'm gonna do a coin, but this is not like the other, I've been getting historical coins just for the fun of it, because they're all replicas, and it's neat to see what coins used to look like. You know, now that coins are becoming almost obsolete with very few people carrying actual money around anymore. But this one was cute because <laughs> this side says husband's choice and this one says wife's choice. And it's a food decision coin. <laughs> so um, do you guys ever, <laughs> ever have the problem where you're trying to figure out what to eat and it's like, oh, I don't care, whatever you want, hon. No, whatever you want. So this will put a stop to that. And then, you know, hopefully it it's not weighted to always land on the same side. But, um, but yeah, sometimes I just don't want to pick. But then my husband's like, but you're so picky. You need to be the one that picks. Cause, cause I'll be like, just pick, I'll get something from anywhere you want, you know, and I don't care. I, I really at the moment don't care. Well, then he'll come back with some restaurant that's like an hour away. Now, what is up with that? Like, that's not what I meant. I meant, you know, someplace in town. So then, of course, it's like, well, you're too picky, so you have to pick. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> so this will stop that. So and this will, you know, it doesn't have to just be for food. It can be for anything. Um, but this was $1.98 and I think well worth it. All right, so next is a pair of earrings. Oh, sorry, I feel like I've got something on my lip. It's got plastic earbacks in it. But these are the um, faux leather, um, faux leather teardrop earrings. You've seen me get other ones like this on this channel, but this this is the first pair of black and white plaid. And if you've watched, you know I have black and white plaid shoes and shirts, and so I had to get these right. <laughs> and um, Again, we saw on my last one that these don't stay in my ear very well, but they do come with backs. So, you know, if I were smart and sometimes I'll just kind of push these down so they're not, so they kind of stay on the ear better. But these were $1.29 and they've adjusted down to 89 cents. Yeah, they, they have a ton of these on online of all different colors, patterns, everything. And it's a super, super easy one to wear. And it gives you a lot of color. So, all right. Next is a set that I put together. They did not come together, but it's a ring and a necklace. So, what it is, it's fish. So you've got all these silver fish going one way and then you've got the gold fish going the other way. So I call this my chosen ring. So um, many of you may be familiar with the series, The Chosen, which you can um, stream online. And I think you can stream on Paramount or Peacock, one of those. Um, but the idea, and I don't, I don't remember how this was marketed, but the idea is that, um, well, Jesus is the fish going the opposite direction of all the others. Um, but I would encourage you if you, it's the chosen, if you've not heard of it, 
it was it's a fully um user not user um watcher like it's not produced by a studio it's produced through donations from people like me and you and whatever money they make um on as they're playing it so like um you can get it if you happen to have the angel app you can get it on there i think and if you're not familiar with that app that app you can watch movies and tv shows and stuff and they have removed a lot of language um i think language is probably the easiest thing that they have that they remove so i don't know if they i, I confess i've not really watched much on there i think i watched maybe love actually maybe i might have watched on there because i was kind of curious how they were going to deal with the one storyline with the two young people <laughs> that um are making um a certain kind of film so i was kind of curious to see how they would do that and i think they just cut those scenes all the way out so if you're somebody who is very anti um uh what is the word if you if um free speech is not the word um dang it if you don't like people messing with someone's artistic vision then this is not for you or angel would not be for you but anywho <laughs> the chosen is a um a series it's i think it is going to end up being seven seasons long but it's the first tv series that does kind of the life of christ and it kind of starts um when he's about 30 because the life of his ministry is about 30 or about three years and it starts kind of in the beginning of that before he as he's um choosing his disciples that kind of thing and i'll tell you if you if you don't watch any more you should really watch the first episode um where he's it's well i don't want to give it away but um mary magdalene is in that episode and it is i mean it is powerful and i cried and it's just got a good message it's great for the family um obviously if um christianity is not your thing then you would watch it with different glasses if you watched it um i don't know in college i went to a christian university and when we were i had a class that was interdisciplinary studies and so they encouraged us to to watch secular kind of things but to watch them you know kind of intellectually or you know to really think about it not just you know oh my gosh they said cuss words and stuff you know what i mean but to really think about about it so it's i would kind of say it's the same thing with this even if you're not a christian or you don't believe what christians believe about jesus it's still a really good show um so i would encourage you to check it out and it's free um it's on a lot it's on several different streaming and maybe if i think of it all i'm gonna probably forget i should write a note that i talked about this on this one maybe i can put a link to it in there but yeah it's i my husband and i go over and watch it with my dad um whenever it's coming out and it's just you got to bring your kleenex because it's it's heartwarming um so anyway okay so i didn't mean to get off on that tangent but that's why i call this my chosen ring and then there was a necklace um so it's just the same idea silverfish going one way and the goldfish going the other you know just symbolizing that you don't always have to follow the crowd it's okay to be unique so yeah so i thought those were those were cute so the ring was a dollar 79 and the necklace was a dollar 34. so speaking of tv since that's what you came here for right it was tv talk um actually it's not tv it's a movie so my husband and i watched um, love at first sight on Netflix last night 
and it was super cute. Um, really good movie, so I would encourage you to, if you have Netflix, check that out. Otherwise, we've been watching Disappearing on Max about all of these um, missing people, and those are interesting. I mean, we watch a lot of, you know, I've talked about this, murder shows, serial killer, but lately we've been watching Missing and Disappearing and stuff, which is a little bit different. And sometimes they actually do find the people, which is nice because some of the other ones, it's usually is not the case. Um, but okay. More than you wanted to know about my TV watching habits. All right. So the last five things are all pins. So I will show you them again and then we will put them on my mood bag. So the first one is the one that I couldn't find on my other haul but it's the Scooby-Doo one. Scooby, Scooby-Doo, looking for you. Scooby, Scooby-Doo, where are you? <laughs> okay, um, now that I've ma made you have to listen to my singing, although I do like to sing, but um, some of these, like, I wish that TV shows today still had theme songs, like Golden Girls. That was a great song, right? And Estelle Getty. I finally realized I was talking about Golden Girls on another one and I couldn't remember Sophia's real name, Estelle Getty. All right, so um, this pin, the Scooby-Doo pin was $2.99, probably because of, um, because it was a real show, right? All right, next is from Peanuts. Psychiatric help, five cents, and you got Lucy. The doctor is in. And that pin was a dollar forty-eight. So you can see they're kind of in the one to three dollar range. Oh, I could sing with this one too. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? <laughs> so my smelly cat pin, 99 cents. <laughs> well, this one has a song too. Surely not everyone was kung fu fighting. Jason was like, yeah, because they were fast as lightning. <laughs> so this pin, everyone was kung fu fighting, da -da 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 -da. 89 cents. Did I sing for the Flintstones one? I should have. All right. So the last pin is not one to sing with. I speak fluent sarcasm. And this one is a metal back. And this one cost um, 89 cents. Oh, and in case I didn't say, the Kung Fu Fighting one was also 89 cents. All right, so the other four all had the silicone backs. So let's get out our mood bag. It's getting pretty full and we're getting to the pretty close to the end of the ones that I've bought. So this front mood side, since it's mood, is my introverted, sarcastic, leave me alone um, side. So we're going to put the I speak fluent sarcasm on this side. Oh, I'm going to be having that kung fu fighting song going through my head all night now. What do you guys do when you get a song stuck in your head? I usually try to sing a different song, um, hoping that that will distract me enough and then that other song won't be as memorable for me to keep going. But then I've also heard that um, when you have that, you need to actually play the song like, like you know, on your device because if you can play it all the way through and sing it all the way through, then you'll stop. But I don't think that works for me. All right, so I put my sarcasm pin right here. So then I'll put all these others, because this other side is my fun, childlike, carefree side. 
All right, so Smelly Cat. And I definitely prefer the silicone backs. This is a fun, this is a fun little activity. I mean, I realize I paid for the bag and I don't even remember what I paid for the bag at this point, probably 10 bucks. And the pins, if they're anywhere from 80 cents to $3, I mean, that, I know that can add up and it's probably not the best use of my money, but it's fun, right? And I can afford to be fun sometimes. I'm gonna make sure I'm not poking myself. But yeah, I like I like things that are nostalgic too. So that's why I like the um like the smelly cat and the blockbuster. I'm a very sentimental person, which is why I, I'm like the family genealogist. Um, so I get a lot of the family photos come to me for safekeeping. Um, of course, nobody really, well, people really don't want to talk about genealogy, right? Everybody's eyes glaze over when you start talking about your third great grandfather or something. But, um, and then my grandfather was a physics teacher by trade and well that you probably don't say by trade for teachers do you but he worked as a he was a physics teacher and then um, he retired and became a H&R Block guy for 20 years but he also um, was a very skilled craftsman and made a lot of furniture so I have a bunch of furniture because um, as they disbanded their um, household when they were moving into assisted living we split up the furniture so I have a lot of that stuff and it's not even necessarily that I need that furniture or even maybe want it anymore but I'm so sentimental that I feel like I can't give it away um, but if I do I'm gonna make sure I write you know with my wood burning pen or whatever you know his name on it you know so that somebody will know but um but yeah, so I end up, I end up being a pack rat kind of because it's hard for me to get rid of stuff. And I know the whole saying, take a picture of it because that gives you the same effect as actually having the stuff. And I know that's true, but I don't know. I just haven't, haven't switched to that. All right. So I think that was it, but let me make sure still have the kung fu fighting song going through my head so I kind of hope some of you get it stuck in your head too <laughs> and then you complain about it in the comments only kind comments in the comments just kidding well no not really I really don't I really don't need unkind comments in my life um yep I think that was everything so this one will be a little bit harder to upload because there's orders from six different orders or there's items from six different orders. So that'll make the product list part um, challenging. But nevertheless, it will come and get posted eventually. But if you stuck it out, we're at 53 minutes. Um, if you stuck it out this long, thank you. I really appreciate all of my watchers what do you call what if what if what are we called when we watch somebody's youtube videos besides well subscribe subscribers we want to all be subscribers <laughs> but no um i appreciate everybody that watches these because i know um these are pretty raw and um which i hope is a good thing i don't want to i don't want to come across too polished really because i that doesn't feel as authentic um i don't know I mean, some people that practice and, and have polished ones, they are really good. So I'm not discounting that. I just know that's not me. So for those of you that stick it out with me, I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate the time that you invest in my videos. And um, if you clicked like, thank you. If you clicked subscribe, thank you. It really helps my channel and will help fund my future Timu purchases. Um, but yeah, so thank you. Uh, whatever time 
it is for you. Right now it's 8.03 on a Saturday night for me, and I think I need to record one more video before the family gets home. So whenever this airs, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.